Hello everyone, and welcome to what would be a normal Minty Reacts, but it is not. This is in fact actually a Minty Reviews situation, which I will explain a little bit. This is a Minty Reviews for Bad Batch Episode 12, titled The Outpost. So, to actually explain what's going on here with Bad Batch and then Mandalorian as well, as I'll explain in that video too, I did do recordings for these videos in reaction format, where I watched the whole episode and reacted to it and it was all good. However, some at some point in between of the recording and the editing, the actual audio file of it got completely corrupted to the point of not being able to recover it. I didn't even notice it until this morning when I started trying to edit it. Instead of just going back and doing an entire reaction again, I, I don't, I feel like it wouldn't have been genuine to do a second reaction having, after having already watched the episode, so we're doing some minty reviews instead for these episodes. So episode 12 of The Bad Batch titled The Outpost was a very, very good episode. We finally got another Crosshair episode, just like episode 3 was, and I am so glad we finally got another one of these episodes. The original Crosshair episode, episode 3, was honestly still the best episode of this whole season. Like, just, and it was because it, it was, it was a full-out war story. It was a full-out, complete package war story. The contemplation of Crosshair himself as he's starting to realize, huh, maybe I'm not on the side of good anymore. Maybe everything I've been taught has been a lie, and maybe I'm maybe I should have listened to my brothers in the Bad Batch. Maybe I should listen. Episode 12 does the same thing, where he is basically sent to this outpost planet with this really, really shitty uh, Imperial officer, like an Imperial lieutenant that is just that hates the clones. That just hates clones. He just basically sees them as just like used equipment and doesn't care about them at all. And they're tasked with protecting this outpost, giving reinforcements to the uh, clone troops already there. However, when they get there, they realize that the uh, reinf that the reinforcements and the cargo was supposed to be taken like a year prior to that. The Empire just didn't care and they didn't come for it. They just didn't care at all. So the clones that were there had basically been wiped out except for like four people, including the main clone that we find named Mayday. And Mayday, phenomenal character. I absolutely loved Mayday and his entire point in this episode of just showing Crosshair more to the point, more in actuality, just straight up, that the Empire doesn't care about you. The Empire does not care about you at all, and if you die, it won't matter to them. Uh, the interactions between Crosshair and Mayday were so good, because from the very beginning, Crosshair already started to have those thoughts and ideas in the back of his head from the previous episode with Cody, where he started realizing, maybe this is, maybe I'm not supposed to be here after all, maybe this isn't my place. And Mayday just kind of fully confirms that, was like, yeah, no, this isn't your place, they do not care about you. To the point where, like, Mayday's armor is, like, bandaged up and such, and very cool design, but it's because they hadn't been sending them any equipment to work with. So as the episode goes on, they keep being attacked by raiders, and when they do, they lose some cargo, and the lieutenant is like, okay, I'm not going to send any forces out there, this is your problem, because you all lost it, because, you know, blaming them for everything instead of taking responsibility as the leader should, he sends both Crosshair and Mayday out to go retrieve it. And as they do that, we have more conversation between Mayday and Crosshair about the Empire and them just not caring at all, and that whole theme just keeps, like, building upon it and building upon it, and the whole, like, through line of Crosshair realizing his actual place in the Empire. Finally, even to get to the car go they get to the raiders uh there's a really great scene in a cave where crosshair steps on a mine and made a de uh, basically diffuses the mine for him very cool thing have a little conversation about the, a little bit about the clone wars whatever and about what happened to their previous groups uh made a group all died and uh crosshair basically says that his group clone clone force 99 just is not there anymore, which Mayday interprets it as them dying. Then they figure out what the cargo is. And this is where the episode turns, and especially where Crosshair, it fully clicks into him and it turns for him. And the cargo that they've been keeping track of this whole time, that, that his clone group has died for, was armor. It was just simply armor for the Stormtroopers, and that's all it was. It was something that was so inconsequential in the grand scheme of things that it didn't 
matter if it was gone or not. And of course, because of the whole, because of the combat, because of the fight that they had with the Raiders, an avalanche happens. They get buried in the avalanche, but Mayday saves Crosshair. Crosshair then repays Mayday by not leaving him behind, linking back to the cave where they had a conversation about, hey, you seem like the kind of guy who would leave somebody behind. Phenomenal, phenomenal scene where then it finally clicks into Crosshair. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why are we doing this? And he takes Mayday with no helmet. <laughs> no helmet at all. Mayday has his helmet. Crosshair does not have his helmet. And and walks him all night with hardly any stopping through a blizzard to get him back to base to get him help. And he doesn't leave him behind. He does not leave him behind, which is a massive character change for Crosshair, who literally left his family behind in the first season. He basically left them behind, and, and it's a massive character change where he's like, I'm not leaving you behind this time. I'm not doing this. And when he gets back, the lieutenant finds them. The lieutenant does not care does not care. He's like, you should have just died out there. You didn't bring your cargo back. As far as I'm concerned, you failed. You failed this mission. And Mayday dies. But at least Crosshair helped him back. And the rest of the Stormtroopers are like, um, we don't know what to do here in this situation. We, we don't know what to do. So then when the lieutenant's leaving, it finally happens. The lieutenant was not making that as an episode alive. He is one of those types of characters that was so perfectly written as a as just an asshole antagonist that you just want to see get their comeuppance. It happened. Crosshair turns him around, basically calls him back, and then just shoots him. Just shoots him right in the chest, kills him right there. Crosshair finally makes the turn, and he thinks he's going to die there anyway, and he falls down, passes out basically from the exhaustion, but we see him smile. We see him give a little smile where he basically realizes at that point, I did it. I finally did it. I'm going to die now, but I finally figured out that yes, the Empire was not what I thought it was, and I was wrong. But then it gets even more interesting, because that's not where it ends though. Then it goes back to Tannis, I believe, Terrace, the planet that we've seen, uh, that they've been basically taking on the clone stuff and transferring to, especially in last episode of Metamorphosis. We get there with the with one of the doctors there and it looks like they're about to do some experiments on crosshair so i'm really interested to see where that's going it feels like that's where they're basically moving the season along to to finally bring everything back together because this season overall had felt a little bit disparate in a way and a little bit like it was just kind of going all over the place i'm glad it's now finally starting to work back around with working back around into the story about Omega, the story about the clones, what the Empire's doing with cloning technology, now with Crosshair, they're all coming back to this one planet. So very cool there. Very, very cool there. But overall, the entire episode was so, so complex and layered in what it was trying to tell. And the simplest message of the Empire is bad, and even if you believe it to be good, it's not. They do not care about you. And it finally took this, this episode for Crosser to realize that, and for him to finally turn, in a way, to the side of good, to the Bad Batch. So I'm predicting now that by the end of the season, which we only have three weeks left, because the last week is a double episode, so I only have three weeks left, I'm predicting by the end of the season, Crosshair is going to actually either return to the Bad Batch and help them again and be part of that team again, or he's going to sacrifice himself to save them as a mirrored callback to the first season where he let them escape, but was trying to kill them when Kamino was blowing up. That was this episode. This was the very off-the-cuff kind of mini reviews kind of thing. I thoroughly love this episode. This episode was so, so well done. I love the fact that Bad Batch and Star Wars Animated can do this a lot of times, where they just take this kid show, in a way, and make it so adult, make it so mature, without it feeling forced. They take a an animated show that, technically speaking, is made for kids. Technically speaking, it is, it is made for kids, just like Clone Wars was made for kids and Rebels was made for kids, and it makes it mature and it shows you no this is how the world is this is the story we're telling this is this is a war story and it, it's so great i love that about star wars animated but either way let me know down in the comments as well what you think about this episode as well and yes these minty reviews will not be how i do these from now on it's just how i have to do this for this week because of the unfortunate circumstances of my audio just crapping out on me by the way let me know down in the comments what you think about this uh, episode of bad batch and all that stuff as well remember here's gonna be a playlist for the rest of the bad batch as well the actual reactions to them so watch those too those are really fun and over here's gonna be a video that youtube recommends for you as well and until next time just stay bad batching everyone and i will see you in the next one so until then stay safe everyone and i love you all peace everyone peace